something. In the last few months, there's been a couple big Democratic victories, and everybody been talking to me about what's going to happen. And I said, wait till election night. You're going to see what's going to happen. And it's because of you. It is because of you. There's not a man I know in the state of West Virginia that's more prepared to lead this state to great things than Earl Ray Thomas. Not a man in West Virginia. And he did it the old-fashioned way. He earned it. He earned it. He is the man. He is all right. We're going to win with Earl Ray Tomlin more and more elections to come. You know, this election has been won by everyone in this room who has worked so hard for so long. This election, we knew we had the best candidate. We knew we were running in a very tough environment. But West Virginians can see through it. They understand who Earl Ray Tomlin is. They know he's right for West Virginia. And tonight, we celebrate West Virginia making the great decision for our future. Governor Tomlin has demonstrated his love and dedication to our state over 37 years of public service, 37 years of working with other people, bringing people together, knowing that that's how we move forward as a state. The West Virginians that we know and love, it's everybody in this room, it's our families and friends, they know we have moved forward. They know we are standing out as an island of prosperity across the nation. They know that someone has been responsible for that leadership over many, many years, and they know that person is Earl Ray Tomlin, who they have elected tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's result is proof that West Virginians appreciate ideas, they, they value experience, and they want our state to continue to move forward. Now, I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. People around our state, they came together, business and labor, north and south, men and women, young and old. This victory, ladies and gentlemen, is not about me. It's about you out there. It's about you. It's about you and the great things that we can do together for our state. We all came together to tell the outside groups that no one, no one is going to tell us what to do in West Virginia. We may be open for business, but ladies and gentlemen, West Virginia is not for sale. I've always tried to do what is best for all of West Virginia, from the northern and eastern panhandles to the Ohio River to the southern coal fields. We have geographic differences, but we're united by our desires to move our state forward and make it all that it can be. As I said throughout our many stops on the campaign trail, we have made significant progress in West Virginia. We are creating more jobs and we're responsibly lowering taxes for both consumers and those out there who create jobs. We've cut, we've cut, <laughs> Lisa, I think you were a little off key on that one there. <laughs> but seriously, we, we have been able to cut the food tax to help our seniors, our working families, and our border retailers and we'll cut the corporate net income tax and business franchise tax to make it easier for companies to create jobs in West Virginia. We're attracting nationally respected companies all around West Virginia. While we need to do more, our unemployment rate below, remains below the national average. Our rainy day fund is the envy of the nation. Our bond rating is the highest it's been in decades. And we continue to budget responsibly and generate surpluses. We 
we've been able to take care of many of our legacy problems, cutting workers' comp costs for businesses and securing our pensions so our dedicated public employees and teachers will have their retirement checks. And I truly believe our state is poised for greatness, and I'm proud to have been able to play a part in getting us to this point. As you can see, looking around this room, we have the passion, we have the power, and we have the people to do whatever it takes. <laughs> During the next, next 14 months, and hopefully five years, yeah! uh, we, we have much to accomplish. We're on pace to completely eliminate the food tax. We will physically be responsible in ensuring that the reductions in our corporate net income tax and our business franchise tax continue to be either eliminated or lowered, making it easier to create good paying jobs in West Virginia. We will act on recommendations to make our coal mines and indeed all our workplaces the safest they can possibly be so that our workers who are the best in America are able to provide the energy that powers this country and they can go home to their families each and every night. At the same time, I will fight for our coal's, uh, state's coal industry, the backbone of our economy in West Virginia. Yeah. We will oppose the efforts by the EPA and others to stop production of the most efficient yeah. fuel our country knows. And we will work hard to make our education the best in the country with teachers who are certified for the subjects they're teaching and who are rewarded for their dedication. Yeah. 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 We will improve our graduation rate and provide every young person in our state the opportunity to receive the skills necessary to fill the jobs created here in West Virginia. And as I've said before, I will go anywhere, I will do anything to bring jobs to West Virginia. Manufacturing jobs, oil and gas jobs, coal jobs, retail jobs, and everywhere in between, we welcome all those jobs in the state of West Virginia. Yeah. Now, this campaign has not been easy, but we have persevered. We told people about our plans for the future and our successes in the past. We were able to fight back against those who wanted to bring in extreme ideas and create turmoil like we see in Washington. As I have in the past said, I will work with members of both parties across the political spectrum to do what's right for West Virginia and our residents. My door will be open to all, and I know that the best solutions come after frank and honest discussions, and I look forward to having those. Now, as Joanne and I have traveled around the state, we met so many great people who are passionate about working with us to improve West Virginia and make our state all it can be. I want to thank all of you who are here tonight and those who provided such warm hospitality to us. I encourage you to remain involved, to share with us your vision for the future and your ideas about how to get there. Thank you.